Hi, we're going to mix the roles of exponents on this following problem. We'll have q to the negative 3 sevenths over q to the 2 sevenths times q to the negative 6 sevenths. Now there are a number of different ways that we can work this depending on which rule of exponents we want to use first and which second and so on. But one of the things we usually do in my classes is we move the terms to the positions where their exponents will become positive. In other words, q to the negative 3 sevenths will move down and become q to the positive 3 sevenths and q to the negative 6 sevenths will move up and become q to the positive 6 sevenths. That gives us q to the positive 6 sevenths over q to the positive 2 sevenths times q to the positive 3 sevenths. Now look at the denominator. Notice we're multiplying like bases, so we're going to add the exponents. q to the 2 sevenths plus 3 sevenths is going to give us q to the 5 sevenths. So we'll have q to the 6 sevenths over q to the 5 sevenths. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, we're dividing like bases, so we're going to subtract the exponents. q to the 6 sevenths minus 5 sevenths. And that's going to equal q to the 1 seventh. And that will be our final answer. When you start with exponential notation, you end with exponential notation. We're now going to do a problem designed to trip you up. It's very tricky. We have r to the 1 half times y to the 3 fifths in parentheses raised to the 10th power over r to the 3rd. Now you take the power on the outside and multiply it by the powers on the inside of the parentheses only. So we're going to have r to the 1 half times 10 multiplied by y to the 3 fifths times 10 over r to the 3rd. r to the 3rd stays r to the 3rd. It's not in the parentheses. Well, let's see, 1 half times 10 is 5, and 3 fifths times 10 is 6. So we'll have r to the 5 times y to the 6 over r to the 3rd. Now here's the tricky part. Notice that the r's are like bases. So we have to subtract those exponents. r raised to the 5 minus 3 power multiplied by y to the sixth. That will be r to the 2, y to the sixth. And that is your answer. Be careful when you're doing this problem. Okay, we're going to mix again the rules of exponents with a rational exponent problem. Here we have m to the 1 fourth times n to the negative 3 fourths over m squared in parentheses all to the 1 half power. Of course that 1 half power is going to multiply the powers inside the parentheses, the 2 and the understood 1 on the n. So that's going to give us m to the 1 fourth times
times n to the negative 3 fourths over m to the 1, well, okay, m to the 2 times 1 half times n to the understood 1 times 1 half. Okay, this is going to give us m to the 1 fourth times n to the negative 3 fourths over m to the 1 because 2 times 1 half is 1 times n to the 1 half because 1 times 1 half is 1 half. Now, we'll have m to the 1 fourth on top, but the n to the negative 3 fourths is going to move down and become n to the positive 3 fourths. So we'll have m to the 1 times n to the 1 half, they were already there, times n to the positive 3 fourths. All of which will give us 1 over m to the 1 minus 1 fourth because we're dividing like bases so we subtract exponents and then n to the 1 half plus 3 fourths because we have like bases that we're multiplying. So we add the exponents. Now all we have to do is figure out what 1 minus 1 fourth is and what 1 half plus 3 fourths is. You can do it by hand or you can do it in your calculator, but any way you look at it, the answer is going to be 1 over m to the 3 fourths times n to the 5 fourths. And we are done. We started with exponential notation, we end with it.